In Israel, it's hard to find people that completely don't know anything. Maybe in a kibbutzim, some in Tel Aviv, but most Jews are connected, traditional, they have relatives, friends, religious people in a building, synagogues, every block. You cannot say I didn't know about religion. You cannot say I didn't know there's such thing Shabbat. Or I didn't know there's a holy Torah. Secular people in Israel, eight out of ten, when they see Torah on the streets, when they do Achnasat Sefer Torah, they come to kiss. Meaning they understand that this, this book has a special value. They don't kiss the phone book. They don't kiss the newspaper. They don't kiss the dictionary. But when they see the Torah, they come and kiss. So what do you see? That they are hypocrite. They know the Torah is divine. They know it's holy. They know it's the book of God. They just don't want to know what's in it. The more I know, the more I will have to keep. The more I will know and not keep, the more guilty I will feel. It will ruin my quality of life. That's why the less I know, the better it is. I won't feel guilty. I will enjoy my sins. That's a calculation of a moron. A pure moron. Only morons things like that. Why? <laughs> not knowing the law does not dismiss anyone in the history from the punishment. <laughs> you just killed someone. What are you going to say to the po police? I didn't know it's not allowed to kill. No one ever told me. I laugh at you. I didn't know you're not allowed to steal. I didn't know you're not allowed to break into someone's house without permission and sleep there. I didn't know. You didn't know. You go to jail. Doesn't matter. Here, what are you going to say to God? I didn't know. You can fool him. He will say, yeah, but you had all the time in the world to come and find out. You saw so many people around you living by the book. Living, speaking, screaming, demonstrating, protesting. Protest everywhere for Shabbat. Fighting, getting beaten up, not to let people break Shabbat in the neighborhood. Never occurred to you to check why they're giving their life for? What's going on over here? The answer is, of course he knew. He just doesn't want to keep. So the less I hear about it, the less suffering I have. Someone that is cheap, he doesn't want to go to a place where poor people come to collect. Why don't you come? I have my reasons. It's not going to tell you. Why doesn't come? Because 50 poor people will come, sir, can you, can you help me out? I'm hungry. He will feel guilty. He's cheap. He doesn't want to give a penny to anyone. But then he goes home and he suffers. What kind of a low life I am. People don't have what to eat. I sleep in a nice home. I have money. And they begged me for food. And I didn't even give them $5 to any one of them. So what's the solution? I never go there. If I go there, it will create conflict in my mind. You cannot run away from the truth. You're only postponing the verdict. But you cannot run away from it. The longer you postpone it, the worse you will get. If there was a way to cheat Hashem, to lie to him, to deceive him, like you can do in a court here. No, we understand that, fine. At least, you know, there's a way around it. I'll take my chances, but there's no way. It's all documented. Nobody can run away. So the faster they will adjust their lifestyle to the divine book and instructions of the Creator, the faster they'll get saved from what's waiting for them. They can laugh all they want. They can make fun at the righteous people all they want. In the end, at Akol Yavi Hashem Bamishpat. In the end, everyone will have to pay for every word that came out of their mouth. No one can run away. That's why I said to you last week, when I see these wicked people in Israel, how they fight the yeshivot, how they fight the religion, how they cooperate with our enemies and helping them to destroy us. And you're wondering how Hashem can stand such people like Bernie Sanders and the rest of the, rest of the low lives. You have many of like him in Israel, sitting in the Knesset. Traders, original traders. So the question is, how does God give them oxygen? How he gives them a nice home in Tel Aviv, private, garden, nice car. 
salary for life they get, politicians, dirty people, corrupted, fakers, traders, ungrateful people, thieves, every negative things you have in them. How can they even survive a second? How Hashem is not allergic to them? The answer is absolutely allergic to them. But his allergy and our allergy is different. He is perfect. Therefore, he can handle every situation you want. Any. We can't. Or he can break our spirit. He can make us kill someone. He can make us kill ourselves. He can make us go into depression. Certain things in life can destroy the mind of a person. Destroy him. He cannot function after that. Hashem doesn't have these issues. He doesn't get depressed. He doesn't get broken. He doesn't need uh, pro, uh, uh, Prozac. He doesn't need to smoke grass to relax every day. He's perfect no matter what happened in the world. He was perfect before there was any world. And he will still be perfect after there is a world. <laughs> Nobody can elevate him or lower him. 